Hey what's up everybody, Mike back with another video. So today we're checking out the Xgimme CC Aurora. A lot of you have been hounding me over this projector. When's the video coming? Well it's here now. Now let me tell you, if you're looking for a 720p DLP projector that's portable and is pretty damn cool, then you might want to watch this video. Now in terms of why this projector's got me more excited than the likes of the JMG OP2, then basically this thing has internal storage enough to hold 10 movies. It can actually hold 4,000 songs simultaneously. Dual band Wi-Fi Bluetooth will run through all of the specs later, but this thing has got an insane claimed eight hour battery life. So this is the CC Aurora, let's check it out. <laughs> So, back with another video. So guys, how does it stack up against the likes of the Wabutu TAD or even the JMG OP2, which by the way, I absolutely love. Well, in terms of the Xkimi CC, it's got its own bag of tricks. It uses square pixels as opposed to diamond shapes or any other shapes, native 720p resolutions, 350 ANSI lumens, airplay, mirror cast, autofocus and keystone correction, both vertical and horizontal, 16 gigabytes of fast DMC storage, 3D support, JBL, 40 millimeter stereo speakers, two of them. On top of that, it's got that party piece of that 20,000 milliamp battery. So let's go open this thing up and see exactly what you get. So guys, inside the big box, we get some goodies. So the first thing we get is this multi-adapter. So this came with the Xgimme H1 and it comes with the CC as well. We also get this pretty snazzy looking or well-made Xgimme branded tripod. Now this thing is plastic, but it does feel like a lump. And it's got this little locking mechanism, sliding switch, if you will. And if you actually, this is quite cool. If you actually slide it, you can actually pivot the uh, bull head around. And it's really nice. And I haven't actually seen a tripod included like this kind of quality. Yes, it would be lovely if it was made of metal, but I've tested this with heavier uh, items and it works fine. Active 3D glasses are also included, branded by Xgimme. And you know what? It's got the power switch on the top, the sensor in the middle, and it's got this uh, micro USB charging port on the bottom. And you can actually adjust the nose bridge pieces. They include a few pieces. As you can see, Xgimme branded. We also get this cowhind looking leather strap. And honestly, this thing feels awesome. I love the tan color. And it's got these two little holes, so you can actually replace the strap when the original one, which is attached to the machine, gets a bit worn out. So how about we go open up the CC Aurora? Now you bet you haven't seen an unboxing like this. I've been trying to pick at it and I haven't got anything handy to actually try and scratch it. So I just burnt it. So, wow, that, that does look genuinely really nice. That carry case, and you can see there's a spare strap and the one is actually attached to the projector in the box. The box looks awesome, by the way. Right now I'm having like an internal battle of wills over this and the P2 because the exterior body of this thing all the way around on the top, the sides, the base, it's all metal. The back piece is plastic ABS, but this has got some nice aluminum finish. You slide open the sign or the JBL sign portion of it to actually switch the projector on. On the Xgimme H1, you used to slide the lens cap. And as you can see, just by sliding that, the projector is now on. There's also the IR sensor right next to the lens. Very minimum branding, JBL, Xgimme, that's it. I really love this design uh, on the side. I don't know how this actually works, but I think you just kind of either pull it over or just twist it off and then you can replace the strap quarter inch thread on the base for those of you that want to know if you can mount it to a tripod or to like a wall mounted projector arm and as you can see works absolutely fine uh, in terms of the top of the projector you can see if i move this piece of plastic there's uh, three buttons forward fast forward rewind play pause and you got battery led indicator lights the plus and the minus on the left and the right will control your volume that's about it now, on the back, you've got the DC power input, two USB 2.0 ports, HDMI, and a shielded 3.5mm jack, so if you want to connect it to a pair of headphones, aux cable into a soundbar, anything like that. Now, that carry case really does come into its own. All of your accessories are housed in a compartment in the bottom of that carry case. The most notable thing inside the bottom was that remote control. Now, while it has the same design and the look of the Xgimme H1 remote control, as you can see, this thing's got some kind of a triangular profile. The buttons feel pretty good and you get the same amount of options as you do on the Xgimme H1 which is their native 1080p projector and one of the features that I like that they kept is that sliding switch so the plus up and plus down button let me focus in 
So as you can see, you can see volume or focus and that diagonally positive and negative button that you can see right here, depending on where your slider switch is, that's what it will control. So I love that feature. Here's a power brick. Let's go fire this thing up and see exactly what this thing can do. So guys, before I actually turn off the lights, I just wanted to show you what this uh, projector performs like with a bit of ambient light. It's laundry day, so ignore the mess around the house. You've got like a 50 or 42 watt light bulb here, another light directly in front, and the projector performs pretty damn well. Now, if I'm honest, I'm a big fan of the Xkimmy user interface from the way they help you set up the projector to the actual ease of the menus. It looks absolutely fantastic, and I think there's definitely a point here for Xkimmy over JMGO. And to show you that square pixel that they're using, I don't know if this is translating out into video, but if you look quite closely, you can actually see the square pixels. And looking at it from this angle, you can see how sharp, even at an angle, that image really is. Now, aside from the Xkimmy CC Aurora looking like one of the coolest products, that I've actually tested since I started this channel. The four corner keystone correction option that they include within their menu, if you've seen the H1 video, you'll see how good that is. You can have it up to over 30 degrees off center and still get a perfectly aligned image, which should be pretty much at this price point mandatory for all manufacturers to actually include. In terms of other things, you can actually change the color temperature. And if you watch the H1 video, all of this will look very familiar, stepless zooming, vertical zooming, horizontal zooming, and all of these options work absolutely perfectly. You can change the aspect ratio from 16 by nine uh, to uh, four by three. It doesn't have that 16 by 10 weird cinema uh, projector aspect ratio, but besides that, everything else is pretty much the same. In terms of other things that the uh, projector and the UI does really well, you can actually go in and change the theme on the actual projector to different backgrounds. And if you hit on that customize options, it gives you a lot more uh, ability to customize it to your personal taste. In terms of using the Xkimi Assistant app, this was a complete fail. I scanned the QR code, downloaded the app, and I tried it with my Note 8, and it just point blank refused to open, so I'm not a big fan of that. In terms of the built-in AirPlay and um, Android device to screencast uh, your smartphone to the projector or through the projector, this works absolutely seamlessly on Android anyway. I can't comment on iOS because I don't own an Apple device. Uh, and going finally back, this all this animation as well. This is why I love the Xkimi actual user experience. It is fantastic. Aptai TV works perfectly, so you can download pretty much all of your entertainment apps, including Kodi, and this uh, projector has enough grunt to actually run the latest version of Kodi without crashing every five minutes. Uh, this is also true for the YouTube app. And unlike other projectors in this price point, Xkimi also include a built-in focusing test image. So if you want to manually focus your projector, you can do so from the settings menu. Yeah, baby girl, you're so damn fine, though. Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, though. I'm sipping on you like some fun wine, though. When it's over, I press rewind, though. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamin's in my pocket. I trade in my truth for some robbers. And he's playing Batman. Fatty's gonna rob him. I got the Glock in my robbery. 17 shots, no 38. Yeah, I got the Glock in my robbery. 17 shots, no 38. Yeah, she's fine. Wondering where she be mine. Walk past, I press rewind. See that ass one more time. And I got this so. Bag it up. 
So that was the CC Aurora from X Gimme, one of the coolest projectors I've actually checked out. And now in terms of noise output, this thing came in at about 32 decibels average, which is absolutely fantastic. Build quality is top notch and you get a mountain of accessories and that will save you money compared against the X Gimme H1. Now very few people would actually notice a massive difference in image quality. So save yourself a couple of hundred bucks and go for something like this. More tests on this coming up soon on Projector Wars Episode 2. Competition is still open, so you got about 10 days. If you've got any questions about this, leave them in the comment section. Links are in the video description. And leave a like if you thought this video was good. It lets me know that I'm doing my job well. And until next time, thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.